In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the speed of waves on string. So I'm going to show you how to calculate the speed of waves on string. So for a vibrating string, there are two speeds to consider. So for any vibrating string, we must consider two speed, which is the first one is the speed of the physical string that vibrates up and down transverse to the string in the y direction. So the first speed to consider is the physical speed of the string. And then from there, we have the second speed, which is the wave speed. So wave speed is the rate at which the disturbance propagates along the length of the string in the x direction. Like in this diagram here, we have the speed of the string, this string here, which is moving up and down. The movement of the string up and down, that speed, that is the physical speed of the string. But we have another speed, which is the disturbance, the pause in the string that speed which is going in the in that direction in the x direction that is what we call the wave speed so how can we calculate the speed uh the wave speed like in this diagram here the speed of a wave in that string which is sometimes called the pause so how can you calculate that so you can calculate that speed by using this formula which is the wave speed is equals to the square root of the tension force over the linear density. So that's the formula you can use to calculate the speed, the wave speed or in, in a string. So our V here is simply the wave speed and our F is the tension, tension force. And this letter here is simply the linear density, which is the mass of the string per unit length. It is given by this formula which is mass over length in meters okay so th that is the formula to use to calculate the wave speed so let's have a problem we see how we can calculate the wave sp uh, speed so in this problem they are saying the tension is maintained is maintained in a string as shown in this figure here so the tension in this figure is maintained and the observed wave speed is equals to 24.0 meters per second when the suspended mass is m equals to 3 kg so when the suspended mass there the wave speed inside the, the string there the wave speed is simply 24 meters per second so the question reads what is the mass per unit length of the string so what is the mass per unit length of the string? So the mass per unit length is simply this linear density. So they are looking for the linear density. And if you see in this problem, we have been given the speed, the wave speed. We have been given the wave speed and they're asking us to find the linear density in there. So I'm going to use the same formula, but first we need to find the tension force. So since there is no movement in this string our tension force will be equal to the m to mg which is the weight of that mass so since the weight is pointing in that direction our tension force in the string will be pointing in that direction so since there is no movement in this the movement is there is no acceleration or it's not moving our tension force will be equals to mg which is the weight of that of that mass there so we are going first to find the tension force from there we are going to apply it in our formula to find the linear density which is the mass of the string per unit length okay so to do that uh, in the question there we have been given the mass our mass was 3 kg and the wave speed was 24 meters per second so i'm going to replace since tension force is equals to mg in uh, a stationary object then we are going to find our tension force to be uh, the mass times the gravitational force which is 9.8 meters per second uh, second squared so to calculate that 
punch that on a calculator, we're going to find that our tension force is nothing but 29.4 newtons. So we have our tension force now. So we can move on to the wave speed formula. So in our wave speed formula, our wave speed formula, we have V is equals to the square root of the uh, tension force over linear density. So we make linear density the subject of the formula. So if you make our linear density the subject of the formula, we're going to find that linear density is equals to the tension force over uh, wave speed squared. So after making the linear density the subject of the formula, here now we replace our, our tension force. We have already found it, which is 29.4 by equating the tension force to mg and find the weight, which is 29.4, then we replace it there. Then our wave speed, we were given in the question, which is 24.0 meters per second. Now here it is squared. So you square it there. Then you're going to find that our linear density will be 29.4 divided by 24.0 meters per second squared and if you punch that on your calculator, we are going to find that our linear density will be 0 0.051 kg per meter. So these are the units for linear density. So that was the question for A. The answer is 0 0.051 kg per meter. Now, the question continues to say, what is the wave speed when the suspended mass is now 2 kg? So what is the wave speed? in this string if we suspend a 2 kg mass there where there is uh, where, where there was uh, 3 3 kg so what is the wave speed so to find the wave speed we need the tension force and the linear density but in this case our linear density we already have found it uh, it is constant which is 0 0.051 kg per meter for that string so we are going to calculate our tension force so that we place in our formula so our tension force is equal to mg since that object is not moving so when the object is not moving all the forces acting on it are equal to zero so our tension force there will be equals to mg so to equate that we are going to find that our tension force will be 2 kg since we are given the mass as 2 kg and the gravitational force which is 9.8 meters per second squared multiplying these two we are going to find that our tension force is 19.6 newtons so having found the tension force we move on to uh, the wave speed to find the wave speed since our linear density we have already found it in this uh, in the first question which was 0. 0. 0 0.051 kg per me, uh, kg per meter so i'm going to replace it here where there is uh, linear density and our tension force we have already calculated it there so our wave speed will be equals to the square root of the tension force which is 19.6 newtons divided by our linear density which is 0 0.051 kg per meter so when you divide that and find the square root of what you divide uh, of this then you must find your answer to be our answer to be 19.6 meters per second so that will be, be the wave speed of a 2 kg 2 kg mass suspended on that same string so thank you very much that's all for that video don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave out your comment in the comment section below.